Whenever people see animations of Starship heading to Mars, they always ask the same question. If Earth is here and Mars is over there, why doesn't Starship just point at the planet and go straight? And the answer is that interplanetary travel has almost nothing to do with pointing at a target. It's all about matching orbits inside a moving solar system. Right now, Earth is racing around the Sun at about 67,000 miles per hour, and Mars is moving at about 54,000 miles per hour. Both planets are constantly changing position, so if Starship simply launched in the direction Mars appears in the sky today, by the time it got there months later, Mars would be millions of miles ahead. The whole trick is aiming not where Mars is, but where Mars will be. And this is where the trajectory gets that big curved shape. Starship isn't flying through open space like an airplane, it becomes a tiny spacecraft in its own orbit around the Sun. After leaving Earth, it performs a burn that increases its velocity in the same direction Earth is already moving. That burn doesn't push Starship toward Mars, it pushes Starship into a bigger orbit, an elliptical path known as the Hoffman Transfer. This is one of the strangest things about orbital mechanics. To reach a planet that's farther from the Sun, Starship doesn't point outward. It accelerates forward, raising its orbital energy. That extra energy stretches Earth's nearly circular orbit into a long oval that eventually intersects Mars' orbital path. So what looks like a curved, indirect route is actually the most efficient trajectory possible in a gravity-dominated system. Once the transfer burn is done, Starship coasts for the next several months. The engines stay off almost the entire way. Gravity from the sun shapes the path. The curve isn't a steering choice, it's the natural orbit created by that initial burn. And if SpaceX times it right, Mars arrives at the intercept point at the exact same moment Starship does. That's why launch windows open roughly every 26 months when Earth and Mars reach the right geometry to make this orbital handshake possible. The payoff is that Starship uses far less fuel, carries more payload, and arrives exactly where Mars will be, not where it used to be. It's elegant, predictable, and built on the same physics that have guided every interplanetary mission for decades. If you want the full breakdown, the math behind the transfer orbit, why launch windows drift, and how SpaceX might adjust trajectories for cargo versus crew, the longer deep dive is linked. Tap that play button when this short ends. And before you go, hit like, subscribe, and share this with other Starship fans. The more people understand how these trajectories work, the more exciting Mars missions become.